If you want to be successful, you have to understand one thing about wanting to become successful. It's hard. It's really, really hard. Go in understanding that. Most people go in with the wrong attitude. I'm going to just go do this. It's easy. No, it's hard. Expect challenges to come, setbacks to come, trials to come, hardship. It's hard. It's hard to be successful. But let me tell you something else, though. I've not been successful. And you know what? That's hard, too. And you know the thing about not being successful and the hard part of it is? You don't have options with that hard. You can't decide, okay, well, I'm gonna take a vacation, give me a break. Or I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna buy me an outfit, make me feel better. Or I'm gonna eat at a different restaurant tonight because I'm tired of it. Being successful creates options for you. When you're not successful, it's hard. When you're successful, it's hard. So you have to make a conscious decision. Which one of these hards do I want? Do I want the hard with options or do I want the hard without options? Do I want the hard with some upside or do I want the hard that leads to nowhere? And that decision for me becomes quite simple. I'm gonna take the hard with some upside because success is really hard, man. It really is and, and it's daunting. That's why most people stop. Everybody has that moment where you have to decide Am I going to go through or I'm going to quit? The sad part about it is the average person on the way to their dream quits. Before God, before God's package arrives. So here's the deal. Soon as you ask God for something, if you're a person of faith, you his child, God loves you. If your children ask you for something, you try to find a way to make it happen. Well, God ain't got to try to find a way. He can just make it happen. You have no idea how many boxes you have stored up in heaven with your name on it because you lost faith. The, what I do is I always ask God to send me everything I lost faith for. I always ask that. And then make me humble myself and remember what I asked for and get back in faith. All you got to do is stay in faith. You have to believe. You can't run 50K without some faith. 15, 20, 26, it's too many moments you can give up. You got to stay there. You ain't gonna become Mr. Universe. You, it's not happening, man. You're not getting no TV show. You're not gonna become the head of the company. You're not gonna get the supervisor position. You're not gonna own the sugarcane farm. You ain't gonna own it, dog. You can be one of the workers there, but you're not finna be that dude that do the hiring. You're not finna be that dude if you don't stay in faith and come to work. See, I lost. I lost a lot. But I lost my fear of failure. Michael Jordan, in his life, has taken 946 game-winning shots. Michael Jordan ain't made but 123 of them. But they don't write about the losses. They write about all of them that went in. His last game against Utah, and he hit that jump. That's all you see. He ain't do that but 123 times. He missed 800 sometimes. But he wasn't afraid to take game when he shot. You just got to lose your fear of failure. Failing is part of the process. You got to train to run a long way. You can't just go get in the first competition, your ass win. I lost my first comedy competition I ever got in. $10,000 out here in L.A. I flew from Atlanta, man. I needed that $10,000 so bad, man. I was in a world of hurt. Homeless, they, people didn't know. And I, I was the funniest guy on the show. The guy that run the comedy club, Eric, came up behind me when they was about to announce the winner. He said, congratulations, man, you won this thing. See, that's a clue. Because <laughs> I needed this $10,000. I, I ain't never had $10,000. They announced the winner, Rocky Laporte comedian from Chicago. One of the judges was the owner of his home club. I couldn't have beat this dude no kind of way. He came up to me and said, I know you thought you was gonna win, but I got your ass. 
You ain't even never heard of Rocky Laporte, have you? You got who ass? <laughs> See, what Rocky didn't know was, when I lost, I wasn't gonna quit. I ain't get off Faith Street. I kept staying there, because I knew he was gonna come get me sooner or late. I just don't believe he bring you this far to leave you. Wherever you at right now, God did not bring you this far to forsake you, to let you go. He brought you this far because he had purpose for you. The reason you ain't got COVID and died, because he got purpose for you. The reason you still here, because he got purpose for you. If when God is through with you, you won't wake up no more. But as long as he wakes you up, that's a sure sign that God got something else for you he ain't gave to you yet.